Uh, hello, YouTube. Uh, back once again. And, uh, well, this weekend, what finally came out, movies that uh, people are saying are actually worth watching. So, uh, two movies, actually. Um... One, one, uh, the one was It Follows, uh, the new horror movie, which I heard was great, that I, which was the one I really wanted to see, but no theater in my area was playing it, so I went to go see the other movie other people were saying it was worth a watch, and, uh, that's the review of the, that's what this film, film review is gonna be, and that's the review of the 2015 new live-action Disney Cinderella. Now, um... Uh, Cinderella, uh, I haven't, I, I really like, I like the, I just love Disney, uh, animated films in general when I was a kid, I remember watching that one as a kid, and, uh, I remember really liking it, but it's been many, many years since I've last seen it, so don't, like, there's, uh, like, not much about that's gonna be, like, in my head, like, I'm gonna be, like, going deep comparison between the two on this, but anyway, um, now, uh, first, before we get to the review, though, I feel like I should talk about the short film that starts before this movie, and I do like that, I like how Disney's brought back the short film before, uh, their animated features, I, uh, or just, and now, uh, just their features, I like how they brought that back, uh, but this one is a special one, because I know there's gonna be people just gonna go see this movie just for this short and this short only because it it because you know what the short is it is the frozen fever a short continuation of the story of frozen now i was a huge frozen fan when it came out thought it was a great uh reach uh great comeback for disney uh and uh yeah and i did not just see this movie to see that but i know there will be people who will so i thought i will talk about it uh now let me just say right now if you're gonna go see it just for it see cinderella just for that don't it's it's not very good like um it really does feel like they just uh made this short because um because they were, they thought it would get more people in the in in their seats, which I'm pretty sure it will. Uh, because um, what like uh, because le like I said though, because like I remember like I saw an ad for Cinderella like once, and like like there was nothing about the movie, not a single clip from the movie Cinderella. It was a clip of the new Frozen short, so just like new Frozen short coming and just like continuing the story of Frozen. Where do you see it? Before Disney Cinderella coming out March uh, th for uh, 13th, so yeah, definitely you can tell what the that this was made for the for the this was probably just made like I said to get people the seats and nothing else. And like I said, it's it's it, it it's okay. Like it, it it's. If you were thinking this was gonna set up Frozen Two or be like a deep continuation of the story, like like it, it, it's not. It's a pretty cute, pretty bland, like short. Um, uh, basically just what the premise is. It's Anna's birthday. Elsa, Elsa, Kristoff, Sven, Olaf. They're all setting up her party, and uh, Elsa like basically like got all these nice gifts for Anna, but it turns out Elsa has a cold, and like it's like a, it, it, they, they have that's like a song as like. Elsa gets progressively worse and worse with her illness, and, um, and, yeah, that's about it, there's, the, it, the, oh, the whole thing's a song, and let me say, it's a pretty shitty song, like, definitely does not hit the heights of, so, of like, the better songs from the actual film, so, but it was nice, they got it, they got the, the voice cast to come back, like, it's all the same voice cast, that was, that's nice that they were able to get all of them for the short, um, but, yeah, it, it's, 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 it's okay, uh, like, cause, like, like, like I said, all, all it is is her getting sick, like, and it, I love this, I love this, like, anytime she sneezes, like, basically, like, tiny little adorable snowmans came out, and, uh, I saw this with someone, and they commented, saying, uh, like, oh, you know what she's doing? She's sneezing merchandise right now for Disney, cause you know they're gonna sell so many of those plush toys, cause they were adorable, uh, yeah, and, uh, so... Not very good, pretty lame song, not a deep continuation. I thought the ending was pretty kind of funny, though. They go back to the Ice Palace, I thought the last joke in the end was kind of funny. And, uh, but, in case this is important to you, they do make a Let It Go reference. If you just really want to see them make a Let It Go reference, they do reference Let It Go at one point. So, quick, that's it, just... 
Thought I should mention that for the fact that I know people will be seeing it just for that. But anyway, let's move on to the actual movie featuring the film itself. Uh, Cinderella. Now, uh, let me say this. Uh, when I, when I first heard that we're making this movie about a year ago, I was really not uh, excited for this one. I mean... Disney has not been doing well when it comes to updating their more famous classic Disney films. Like, let's let, let's think of it. We have Alice in Wonderland, which I thought was okay. Like, it was visually pleasing. I thought all the characters and plot kind of sucked. Um, and then there was Maleficent, which I thought was a piece of shit. Like, my God, was that movie bad. I mean, yeah, let's take a, a, one of the greatest Disney villains of all time and make her the hero. Oh, fuck you, Disney, for attempting that. Um, uh, oh my, and like, I mean, everyone loves Maleficent, Maleficent and thinks of her as a great villain. I mean, Kingdom Hearts, one of my favorite games of all time, like... I think I have on my shelf right here. Yeah, yeah. Dear old Kingdom Hearts. When, when, when they when they made when Square, a Japanese company, made this game, they knew to make Maleficent for the Disney villain. They knew to make her the most evil out of all of them and like the last Disney boss you fight. So they knew what they were doing, and for some reason Disney you did not. So anyway. So anyway, like I was saying though, I was uh, not very sure if this movie was going to work out, but let me just say right now, this is a very good movie. This is very good. I actually really like this movie. Uh, uh, let's let's go wide through it. Why it's so good? Oh. Uh, well, uh, first, let me just say, um, let me just say right now, it tells us one of the best things about it compared to what Disney has done is it tells the story of Cinderella. It just flat out tells it. It's they do make some updates to it, which I'll get into, but it tells the story of Cinderella. It's never, they never go into like things like they try to make Kate Blanchett the goddamn hero, or they try to make it like a dark war story involving characters. No, it's the, just the simple story of Cinderella, and that's all this movie needed. And uh, like, and there's like never anything like they update that Cinderella decides not to marry the prince and just tells him like to go away at the end. Like no, like they tell the story. It's a fairy tale, and they just decide to tell it. So. Yeah, so, uh, but let's get through the goods of this, so let's get through some of the things that made this film actually so good. Uh, one, the performances. Really great performances in this film. I actually really like them. Uh, one, Lily James. I've never seen her in anything before. She plays Cinderella. <laughs> Strange thing is, Cinderella, her name is not Cinderella in this movie. Her name is Ella, and someone calls her Cinderella because she has cinder marks on her face. I mean, I mean, ash marks from cinder on her face. And that's the only reason she's called that. Um... <laughs> I don't, I think she only calls herself that once in the entire film, but, uh, yeah, but, uh, Lily James as Cinderella has, hasn't, I have not seen Lily James in anything besides it. I thought, though, she was really great in this movie. I thought she was really charming, really nice, had a really soft, pleasant voice. One of the things I really loved about, uh, I also give a lot of credit to Disney on this one, I love the fact she, she is a very pretty actress, but they do not try to make her look overly pretty. Like, they never try to make her look like a perfect Disney cartoon, like, if that makes sense. Like, it never looks like they're just trying to make her look like as plastic and like as like sellable as possible they she looks she comes off very human the entire movie she always looks real the entire movie so she was very charming very nice very had a very sweet voice really liked her but it, it, it's a fairy tale just like did she play nice yes she did uh other performances are richard madden on as rob stark from game of thrones uh king of the north as the prince Another really good performance. He actually brought a lot. He actually, that was surprised. He actually managed to bring depth. Sorry, my computer's like. Uh, he actually managed to bring some depth to this character of the prince. It's like, um, uh, in the original Disney short, there was, I don't remember there being any character of the prince. I don't remember even if he got like more like than five lines in the uh, original Disney film. Uh, yeah, no, he was uh. He was, uh, good. He, he actually brought some depth to the character, like, basically just, like, trying to, like, make his father happy, but also saying, I, I want to admit, like, because, like, the whole thing is his father wants him to marry, marry for power, but he's like, I, I love you, father, but, like, I, I want to marry someone that I love, and, uh, yeah, uh, so, uh, yeah, I brought a lot of depth to the character, uh, like, some of, like, his more dramatic scenes between him and his dad, I thought he did a really good acting job, uh, him and Lily James definitely had a really good chemistry with each other, they were very sweet with each other, you would do, you weren't just like, oh god, please, like, I don't want to stop, just leave, <laughs> just, I don't want to, like, see them get together, this is horrible, no, they, they, they shared very good chemistry with each other, and that's always important for a film like this, uh, other cast, uh, Helen Bonham Carter as the, um, Sorry. Sorry, computer's really lagging right.
Yeah, okay, sir. Okay, it's okay. Uh, for Helena Bonham Carter as the fairy godmother. Don't know, don't know why Helena Bonham Carter was in this film, knowing her track re record and, like, doing really dark and serious things, or, like, and even, like, if she goes, like, into fairy tales, she usually likes to be the villain, like, she was, she was good, she was definitely good, I mean, Talk about chewing the scenery. She is so insanely over the top. I'm I'm surprised there's anything left after she's done with her scene. Like it is so she just plays it like hammy. Uh, she just goes as hammy as she can get. And my God, did I enjoy watching her? Uh, just so ridiculous. So I, and I'm still just wondering why did, why did they get out to choose Helena Bonham Carter out of all people? But I love Helena Bonham Carter. I, she was she made. Yeah, they made me smile. So good. That's good on her. And finally, the last cast member I want to talk about. Clanchette as the evil stepmother. My freaking, freaking gods. <laughs> when I first saw the trailer for this, well, first they had like a teaser trailer, which is nothing but this, like, uh, the glass slipper, and that was it's like, and they were like, there, that's a teaser. No, the first real trailer for this movie that showed clips from the film, when I saw that Kate Blanchett was playing the evil step on there, that was the performance I was excited to see. I was like, oh my god, they did Kate Blanchett to do this? That looks that's amazing. And let me tell you, she did not disappoint me in the slightest. She was so over. Oh, god. I heard some people complain that she's a big cartoon car she's too much like a cartoon. That's what I love. She wasn't just a cartoon. She kept striking a balance between being an all-out cartoon and being dead bad serious, like in this movie. Like, I think she does a my maniacal laugh like five times in this film. There's five times when she just starts maniacally laughing at what she's doing, and she is so evil, her, uh, she is so insane, uh, there's even a scene, there is a scene where, like, Cinderella, like, goes up, and, like, she's, like, looking for the glass, and she's like, it's not here, then, then you just hear Kate Blanchett's voice, like, looking for this, and, like, she's, like, Kate Blanchett's, like, sitting on a chair, like, and you only see the shot from behind, like, the rest of her is in shadow, and she's like, and she's just holding it like this, like, <laughs> it is so insane. Uh, so, let me tell you, Kate Blanchett was my highlight of the film. She was so over. She was so great. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, so, um, th that's another thing I love. Uh, uh, so that's the performances I, I wanted to talk about. Uh, other things I want to talk about is, one, I thought that was really good updates to the story. Uh, and like I said, it didn't do the goddamn Maleficent route, like, when, like, they basically just fuck with the entire story and say there's an update. No, uh, there's just some good updates. Uh, one... One, I know a lot of people have been, uh, complaints with the original Cinderella in terms of message, like, the, how it kind of, like, supports laziness. I never got that from the original, like, when I, when I watched it as a kid. I was, I was like, just, like, accept, like, the pain sometimes and just try to keep an upbeat attitude and, like, maybe one day you'll get a break. And, but no, a lot of people just saw it as a very lazy kind of, just a story of laziness. Like, if you just sit around all day, like, like, you'll finally get what you want. Um, but I never took it at that to this film, though, it clearly updated the message to, yes, just be kind, be nice, and some, you know, some, someday the world may reward you. That is the clear update message of this. They say it multiple times, that uh, just try to be, a, basically, just try to be a good person, and maybe something good will happen. Uh, other good updates to the story, one, I like, they finally gave explanation, they finally, uh, the, one of the classic jokes of the story is, wait, so they're going off, the, if they're gonna find this girl, just by the fact if the, the, the shoe fits, like, what if they just someone who has the same shoe size? They actually explain. They actually say. They actually say at one point. They say. Well, they say. Look, the shoe is magical. It can only fit her and no one else. Um, it will only accept her foot. So, so uh, that was a, a nice little touch. Uh, another. Uh, um, another good thing was uh, Kate Blanchett's plan. Like it wasn't just like to basically just like try to like keep Cinderella Cinderella away. No, like at first she actually tries to get. Uh, make Cinderella marry the prince and, like, get something out of it, and, uh, she, she actually has a thought of plan in this, which actually made her more threatening in this one, and, um, 
yeah, uh, so that was a good update. And finally, the last thing I gotta say is for a good update is they do the prince and Cinderella do meet each other before the uh, famous uh, before the ball scene, which is uh, which was a very good update because a lot of people who look at the Disney short now say, "Wow, this is actually a really fucked up story." When you think about, it. I mean, this guy is just going deciding to dance with this girl solely on her looks and then decide to marry her off of that. No, like they, they meet before, so when he, and he and he does like her and he um. He, uh, and he, based on when she sees her at the ball, he's like, I, I, I'm dancing with you. Uh, but, and, it, and it feels, it makes more sense. And, uh, oh, one of my favorite lines in the entire movie, there's even a line when the king's like, you know, you want to marry someone you only had one conversation with? He's like, well, that's one more conversation that I have with anyone else in the ball with before Cinderella gets to the ball. So, I really like that. Um... Uh, two minor other great things is uh, another great minor thing is the visuals. This is a very visually pleasing film. Great, great, very. Whoever did the costume and set design did a fantastic job. Just so many soft colors, so many, so many nice soft warm colors, so many nice really fun outfits. Especially Kate Blanchett's outfit. Her outfits were especially her first one, the gigantic hat that was such an enjoyably insane outfit. Uh, um, Cinderella's like ball outfit that was a really nice one. Um. Uh, the prince's outfit, the, those were nice. Uh, the visual design, like, I, lo I love what the CGI, I love what the CGI, like, when, they, like, they did, like, the CGI kingdom, like, they never tried to, um, like, they never tried to make it look real, like, kind of look, like, like, kind of, like, like, kind of, like, like, kind of, like, kind of, like, um, like, washed out, like, kind of, like, if this was, like, told from, like, a children's fairy tale story, which I... Uh, which I thought she made more pleasing the eye. The only visual I thought looked really bad was uh, when Helena Baumkart first shows up. She first has like old man CGI on her face, and it looks really bad and stupid. And you're just like, oh god, please, please, just let Helena Baumkart just show her face already. Um, so yeah, um, that was the one visual that did not work. Uh, now let's move on to the bad of this film because there were a few things I didn't like. One was the stepsisters. I thought the stepsisters were pretty bad in this film, because with Blanchett, she was a cartoon, but she, like I said, she struck a balance between being deadpan series and being a cartoon. The stepsisters are just straight up cartoons, and they get way too, way too silly, way too stupid, and you're just like, and I would just like, please shut up and just let Blanchett talk instead, like, um, so I, I, I did not like those two, I thought they were way too over the top stupid, uh, and, um, um, uh, and uh, the other major thing I gotta say about this film for this isn't really complaint, but like if you see this movie and you're uh, at this time, this wouldn't be a complaint for you. You must be in the right mood to see this movie. You must know what you're walking into with wa when watching this. Like, if you're not in the mood for like sweet Disney magic, because this is a very sweet, very charming film. If you're not in the mood for that, you will hate this movie. You will despise this movie. Don't walk in and watch this movie if you want anything but that, or this will be the worst for you. Just know that. Um, oh, and, an and another complaint was no one got their cut foot cut off to fit the shoe. I, I mean, after Into the Woods, I so wanted to see that happen again, but, oh well, Disney, you blew it. I'm just kidding. But I would have been happy to see that again. Uh, and just some quick side notes. Um, one of the weirdest, one of the weirdest thing about this movie when getting the credits, Kate Blanchett got top billing in this movie. I guess maybe she only agreed to do this movie if she got top billing. Glad they were agreed to do it because, like I said, I love Kate Blanchett. She was my highlight of the movie. But uh, yeah, it, it was kind of jarring when it said Kate Blanchett. Then the actress who plays Cinder, then the title actress who plays the title character, then the friends. That that was kind of really weird. Um, another thing I should note: uh, if you're think if you're gonna if you're thinking about like this will be exactly like the cartoon. Go again. Uh, another thing: the animals do not speak in this movie, which I do think is for the best. They do not speak. They are CGI, but. Never say a word. Uh, they kind of, they did, like, the mice just make, like, kind of, like, cartoony mice. Like, they squeak, squeak, and, like, things like that. Um, oh, my God. Uh, oh, and I must note, uh, the first 30, like, about the first 30, it takes, like, in this movie, like, 25 minutes to start the story of Cinderella, like, we all know, like, with, like, her being, like, essentially a slave, uh, or, yeah. And, um... It takes about, like, 20 minutes, 5 minutes to get there. Before that, just kind of development when it shows Cinderella with her mother and father when she was a kid. And, uh, my god, the mother of the... the 
the the death of the mother and that was almost surreal how it happened like everything is so happy so bright that then she's just like oh and then they just kind of like what well, she's like good night cinderella and they're like and then like and then they kind of, or ella her name's ella uh they, they then like her and her husband walk out and then she's like oh my heart and then just and then dies i was it was surreal let me tell you um and uh and a final note uh if you came here wanting to hear the original songs from the uh disney cartoon not in this movie. Uh, they, there's no singing in this movie except for one scene. But there's one scene that kind of has singing, um, but there's no like big musical numbers or anything like that. Uh, but uh, at the end of credits, it has all the actors of this film singing the songs from uh, the Disney film. So if you want to hear those, wait till the credits. It shows up. And uh, yeah, that's all I gotta say. So really, so uh, all I can say is for a final rank, I'll give this movie a solid. Three and a half out of five stars. I really did like this movie. It really made me put, gave me, made me feel warm and happy inside. I enjoyed seeing through this. I'd say, I'd say, if you want to see this, go see it. If you're like, if you're mood for a Disney jo like Disney magic and all that, definitely go see this. Like it de definitely brings, definitely brings you back to a simpler, nicer time. So, uh. Yeah, a uh, really good movie, and all I can say, for, I know I sometimes forget to say this on my channel, but uh, please subscribe. Uh, yeah, every subscriber helps, so please subscribe. I'm sorry, I sometimes forget to say that in my videos, but yeah. And until YouTube, until then YouTube, see you next time.